is what we do before every every CD. What happens? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Huge episode. Huge. Oh, sorry, yeah. before we start, um, please uh, like the video if you can and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us yeah. you know, put food on the table every week. I know uh, Josh's girlfriend really wants us to like get more followers so that we can buy better food for the house. Yeah, so we need to feed her as well. If you is... could just like the video and subscribe, it would be really cool. We, don't, we won't spam you. No. No, 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 no. As you can see, we're in China. I mean, we're in China. China. It's my first time in China. Yeah, a lot of pandas everywhere. Yeah, I can't like step around a corner and there's a goddamn panda. Yeah. And, and it's illegal to I thought they were endangered. They are everywhere. Yeah. They're in dangerous. Um, CBRE. Huge. Huge company. Appropriate. Um, yeah. Big episode. Big Great country. Wall. Great episode. Great episode. Great. Great engagement. Of, you know. They did give us COVID though. So I'm not, I don't love I China mean, that much. Extended holiday. I mean, Can't well, complain. yeah, free tickets to China. Dumplings for days. Dunkins for days. Hashtag that. Um, CBRE, they are, I mean, they're like the gold standard of content in the industry. That's what everyone kind of looks up to. And I, yeah. I don't know. I'm, uh, you see, I, I, I don't come from a commercial real estate background. And you've only been in commercial real estate. Yeah. And Josh thinks it's the bee's knees. And, um, yeah. I, don't, I don't necessarily think it's that great. I think they, they do an adequate job of, you know, they've obviously got a lot of money, so they've got good designers and they've got the, the yeah, time to create a video. But, um, I mean, fuck, it's got nothing on the likes of HubSpot um, or anything like that. Yeah, so it's not from, a I'm looking from a B2B point of view. Yeah. Obviously, you know, we're not looking at consumer marketing here, but um, I just find it so boring. Yeah, I think they've nailed the boring part. Like, I mean, I get it, but like, if you're in this industry, you're also a human being and you can have fun at times and like you want to go to social media to like be entertained and this is yeah. just like there. Straight there, straight, there. straight facts, just pure information. So corporate. And yeah. I get it, I get it, it's B2B. Yeah. But shit, man. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. And people have still got personalities and mm. Josh. Yeah. I think it shows in their engagement rates. For sure, yeah. So 100%. their engagement rate is extremely low. So yeah. you might go into their content and, oh my God, they've got 200 engagements, 200 likes on this post. Yeah. Wow. They've got the nearly a million followers on, on LinkedIn. The engagement rate is so tiny from a million followers, they only get like 200 of those, 200 of those million mm. engaging with their content at best. Uh, I think that's yeah. really poor. Or it's indicative of how bad this industry is when it comes to engaging on content. So you're either looking at it in one of those two ways. I think it's a combination between the two. It's probably a combination. The engagement rates in Siri are massively small. Yeah. Massively small. It's a horrible way yeah, to describe that. Really tiny. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, these are the biggest guys. They get small engagements. Is that is is there something wrong with this industry and social? Like, what do you should you be striving for? Um, so don't feel bad if you get really engagement with your content because CBRE get really engagement. Yeah, I mean, especially like if you if you're building out. I mean, obviously, not everyone's a CBRE, and if you're not getting anywhere near their engagement, don't stress because even like the top dudes are are getting don't a low stress. engagement. Don't stress. Just create great content. Yeah, it's a it's, process. It's so simple. Yeah, to create great. It content. really, it really is not that. It is not complex. that hard, but yeah. it's not that easy. Yeah. Um, but it's hard to get the engagement, and that's why we always talk about slash funds and um, boosting content. Uh, it's so important. You have to do it. So, yeah. It's. I just think. I don't know. Like it's. It's very one dimensional, in my opinion. I think the videos are cool. CEO content. and shareholders. Shareholders will love this. Yeah, this but is. Is, is is Instagram for those people? Yeah. Like, no. have a bit of fun on Instagram. Yeah. Like, what are they going to do on TikTok? How are they going to handle TikTok? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. It could be the most awkward thing in the world. Or Unless they come know. up with a new, like, content pillar where they're, like, this fun They're going to have to come up with something yeah. interesting, really interesting yeah. uh, for TikTok. Yeah, like a Duolingo sort of. Maybe. I'm going to score CBRE, like, I'm going to score them, like, a 7.2 out of 10. And that's been pretty generous, actually. Like, yeah. I actually want to score them lower from a B2B standard, 
for a commercial real estate standard, they're like a nine. Yeah. Right. If you had to compare them against everyone else, but from a B two B point of view, from a content point of view, like go look at HubSpot and then look at CBRE. Like, you, you tell me CBRE is better than HubSpot. You're dreaming. Yeah. Um. But but it's a, it's a, it's like seven point two for me. Cool. If we're looking at a B two yeah. standard. Yeah. I'm gonna go seven point eight. Okay. Um. I love how clean it is. It's like it's um informative. But obviously, like I'm still a human being. Um, no matter, even if you're in beats, you're not going to be reading this. You're, still, you're not going to be reading this late at night. Not at all. No, not at all. No, no. I mean, I might the one or two of these things might catch my eye before. But I, you're um, going to be scrolling before I catch some. You're going to scroll past. I'm going to scroll. Yeah, I'm going to scroll past. Maybe or if you're at work in the day, you'll look at it. Yeah, maybe. But that's me, like actively. But also, we are not the target market. No. I, I totally get that. No. Totally but get even that. also, even if I just like say I was somewhat involved in being interested in CBRE in some way or the other, and I scrolled through. Like just like a little, as if it was like a portfolio. I'd be like, oh, they it's look like they've got this stuff together. It's impressive. Yeah, it's impressive. There's a strategy. It looks clean. It looks planned. Yeah, I get organized. it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's not hop on about it. Cool. What's the moral of the content? For me, the moral of the content is literally whatever you do in commercial real estate, your engagement rate is going to be good. unless you're boosting every single piece of content, which I actually think you need to mm. do. I think engagement levels are so bad in this industry yeah um, there's almost nothing you can do about it like LoopNet, i audited them the other day and they've got high engagement rates but they're boosting all of their content they're like yeah. running ads on everything yeah. so don't feel bad if you're getting engagements in this industry just don't forget that your spins are humans and we still yeah. have human beings still want to be entertained on social on their phones yeah. um yeah so don't be afraid to to have a post here and there that's don't be afraid of ghosts. Fun or, and don't be afraid of ghosts. Don't be yeah. afraid of ghosts. And if you are, um, you know who to call. Don't come to China. Don't come to China. They wear those funny masks. You see yeah. them? <laughs> the panda masks. <laughs> Did that pandas in Vietnam as well? Probably. Cool, that's the review. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Mm.